All right, perfect. So my call today, I want to actually talk about, you know, communication transformation. But before I talk about communication transformation, uh, the reason I say that is because, you know, whether you're doing a business aspect or not, I really feel like, you know, this skill set, a lot of people need to understand how to communicate. So if you just want to get better with communication, you know, period, uh, drop some 444s in the chat box if you feel like you want to get better with communication in all type of areas, whether you're doing a business aspect or not. This goes for personal relationships, family relationships, business relationships, you know, in a group chat relationships, right? Drop some 444s in the chat box. Because my big thing, again, I'm going to be talking about communication. So before I talk about that, I have to dive into vision for one second, right? So the first thing I want to talk about is this. <clears throat> A lot of people are under the impression that 2020 is over, not knowing that God can do more for your life in the next 47 days than he did all year. I'm going to say that again. A lot of people are under the impression right now that 2020 is over, right? They already made up in their mind that 2020 is over, not knowing that God can do more in your life in the next 47 days than he didn't literally done all year, right? Because it's the fourth quarter. So one thing I want you guys to understand is, all true vision has to get tested for authenticity, for, for authentic, I can't even say the word, Authent authenticity, right? So now I see you smiling. So all true vision has to get tested, right? What do I, what do I mean? See, all true vision has to get tested for your focus, right? All true vision has to get tested for your focus, right? That's all that, that's all that phrase basically means. All true vision, every vision that you have, that goes for anything that you do, it has to get tested for your focus, right? So understand this. See, here, what you what you have to know about vision is you have to keep your energy, you have to keep your energy focused on it until it comes to pass. See, what you have to know about vision is you have to keep your energy focused on that vision until it comes to pass. Because understand this, you have energy that's flowing to and through you. And your eyes, you pointing your eyes at a specific thing, you're putting energy and focus on that specific thing. So the more you focus on that specific thing, you get more of it. That grows your belief system in it. But this is this is the thing. See, when you focus your, your energy on the distractions of what's not working and things like that, guess what? You're giving belief to that, to, to that distraction. See, this is the thing. This is the thing. You you all you have to understand that as a as a human you're always believing you're always believing. See when you hear individuals talk about an example this oh man well I don't really um believe it's two type of people. See when you hear individuals talk about let's just say forex when you hear individuals talk about forex of you know I don't believe you know I, I believe that it's work I believe that it work and I believe that it doesn't work. See you have to understand you're always believing. It's just what you're choosing to channel your belief. See, one thing you have to understand is you have to wait, raise your awareness to understand that you're always believing. So you have to always understand despite of what's going on around you, you always have energy that's flowing to and through you. And when you put your eyesight, you're going to get more of. You're going to get more of. See, understand this. I'm, I want to I read this to you. Because if you get this, everything, everything, it makes sense. See, your eyes is like a lamp that provides light to your light. Your eyes is like a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eyes is healthy, when you're seeing good things, when you're seeing your vision, when you're seeing your vision, right? When, you're, when your eyes is healthy, your whole body is filled with light. What does that mean? Your whole body is filled with energy. You feel good. You showing up, you listening, right? But when your eyes is unhealthy, guess what? When you didn't write the vision down. See, a lot of you guys on the line, if your energy been low, if you've been distracted, it's because you, you're not looking at the vision that you wrote down for yourself. See, but when your eyes are unhealthy, I can't look at distractions, right? You're not, it's not on your mind. It's not in your heart. Your whole body is filled with darkness. Now your energy low, right? And if the light you think you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness is because you're putting your belief into it. And if the light you, you, you have is actually darkness, how deep that darkness darkness is. I'm going to say that one more time. I want y'all to really catch the See, you have to understand you are a creator. Your eyes, see, you have energy that's always in you. Your eyes is going to dictate what you attract and get more of. You see, what I love about social media is you can use social media as a vision board or you can use it to destroy your world. See, with social media, I use social media to, 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 to look at people that inspire me on a day-to-day -day basis. See, my thoughts and my mindset is up there with theirs. I don't focus on what's, what's beneath me. I don't focus on what's... This is the thing. You let God handle everything that's above you. 
You let God handle everything that's above you. See, the things that's out of your control, you can't really control it. And if you can't control it, why are you giving it attention? See, the only thing that you can control is where you where you put your 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 what, you only thing that you can control is where you put in your eyes. Because whatever you focusing on, that's creating the world, that's creating the thoughts that's in your head. So you think based on what you've been seeing. You think based on what you've been seeing. You attract what you based on what you've been seeing. So if you've been seeing the negativity, that's all that you're attracting into your world. And if you're seeing the negativity, you're attracting those negative emotions. You have to become aware and understand that when you're seeing good, you're feeling good. And if you're feeling good, you perform good. That's called living in la-la land. You want to write that down? That's how you live in la-la land. You live in la-la land where you can control exactly what you're putting your energy and focus towards. I hope I hope y'all getting this. I, I really hope y'all getting this. See, this is the thing. See, belief. Be, see, belief in the invisible will always create the incredible. Belief in the invisible will always create the incredible. See, you was designed not to believe in what you can see. You was designed to believe in what you cannot see. You was designed to believe in what you cannot see, not what you can see. Right. So belief in the invisible, the belief in the invisible will always create the incredible. See, belief in the facts will always keep you stuck. What's the facts? What's not working? See, you think based on what you see this thing, you a fool if you only think based on your eyesight. See, you a fool if you only think with your eyes. See, you a fool if you only think based on what you see physically. You have to think based on what, what you wrote down. You have to think, see, this is the thing. This is called walking by faith. You have to think based on what you wrote down, and you have to think based on what you see in your heart. And once you see that, you have to put your eyesight towards that frequency by watching individuals that have those results. That's called walking by faith and not by sight. See, see, if you're not thinking based on what you wrote down, guess what you're doing? You're thinking based on what? What you see. See, 97% of people think based on what they see. That's why they fold. See, 97% of the people, they, they think based on what they see. That's why they get out their process way too soon. See, you have to learn how to live from, I hope y'all catching this. See, understand this. See, most people thinking about, see, this is the thing. See, most people right now, that this is what they're thinking right now. This is what they're thinking. See, most people thinking about starting strong going into 2021 instead of thinking finishing strong 2020. See, most, most people thinking, okay, cool, I want to start. I, I, see, most people thinking about starting 2021 strong instead of thinking, I need to finish 2020 strong. That, that's the mindset that you want to have. That's the mindset that you want to have, right? See, this is the thing. I hope, I hope this makes sense to some of y'all. See, this thing. See, see what most people are going to do is they're going to coast through Thanksgiving. They're going to coast through Christmas. See, most people, they already made it up in their mind. I want to coast through Thanksgiving, and I'm going to coast through Christmas, right? See, what you're going to see, understand this. See, what they're going to cause they self to do is limp into 2021 instead of running into 2021. See, what they're going to cause they self to do is limp into 2021 instead of running into 2021. See, the only way you start strong is by how you end 2020. The only way you start 2021 strong is by how you end 2020. That's the only way you start 2021 strong. See, first comes the thought process. See, understand this. The body will always follow the mind. See, first comes your mind, then the body's going to follow it. But you can't take action. Why? Because your mind all cluttered. See, the body will always follow the mind. But if you ain't doing no action, if you ain't showing up, it's because you're not thinking right. Your thoughts are all over the place. See, first you have to get your first. Your mind needs three things. Write this down. Your mind needs a focus. Your mind needs a a um again. Your mind needs a uh focus, instructions, and a mentor. You have to give it direction. It's like a GPS for real, for real. Your mind needs it needs focus, instructions, and a mentor. 
See, without being aware of those three things, guess what? You're letting your body dictate how you think instead of your mind dictating your body to, for it to take action. See, I'm going to say this. See, see, see what I'm going to do, <clears throat> and, and everybody should do the same. See, what I'm personally going to do, and everybody else should do the same, right? See, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to write out my goals for the next 47 days because I need a target. I need to aim for something. I'm going to write out my goals for the next 47. See, me personally, and I recommend everybody else doing it. I'm going to write out my goals for the next 47 days because I need a target. I need something to aim for going into 2021, right? See, this is the thing. I need something I can tangibly, I need something that's tangible. I need something that's tangible that I can see, and I can, that, I, and that I can see and that I can go out there and do over the next couple of weeks, over the next, four, over the next 47 days. So I can make sure I start the next year with personal momentum. See, I need something that I can go out there and tangibly do on a day-to-day -day basis so I can start the, new, the next year with personal momentum. One thing you have to understand is this. Personal momentum always exceeds group momentum. But you can't go out there and do personal momentum if, if your eyesight is off. See, bad eyesight make you change your language. Bad eyesight make you forget about your vision. See, bad eyesight puts you in a, in a category with 97% of people. That's what bad, bad eyesight does. Right? So this is the thing. See, it's not about what everyone else does. It's about what am I personally doing? It's not about what everybody else around me is doing. See, this is your thinking. See, when you got bad eyesight, you start thinking like this. You start, you start, you start thinking about what everybody else need to be doing instead of what you what you should be doing. See, when you're not focused, the conversations go, it, it changes to this. You start thinking about what everybody else is doing and start uh, what you need, what you know you need to be doing. See, it's not about what everybody else does. It's about what am I going to personally do? See, the speed of the leader is always the speed of the pack. The speed of the leader is always the speed of the pack. The speed of the leader is always the speed of the pack. See, they don't, they don't, they don't teach faith out there in the real world. They don't teach faith out there in the real world. <laughs> they don't teach belief out there in the real world, in the real world, right? See, I want you guys to understand this, and this has nothing to do with the, with, with the topic I'm going to talk about. I just thought I had to go through this real fast. So as long as the earth is here, it's going to be a season of seed time and harvest time. As long as the earth is here. As long as the earth is here, there's going to be a season of seed time and there's going to be a season of harvest time all the time. See, what you do going into 2021, what you do in these next 47 days, you're going to reap a harvest going into 2021. But if you don't do anything these next 47 days, <clears throat> you're not going to reap a harvest going into 2021. See, understand this. Your success is going to be based on how many times <clears throat> you can fail and get over it and keep moving. Your success is going to be based on how many times you can fail and get over it and keep moving. That's what your success is going to be predicated on. Failing forward. Failing forward. See, my next point. <clears throat> See, you got seed time and harvest time. See, if you don't study on the charts these next 47 days, you're not going to reap no harvest going to 2021. See, what you don't know now, you can fix by upping the amount of time you put into your focus by studying. See, I don't believe in excuses because I do understand that if you focus on, you know, education, if you focus on what you don't know and get wisdom, you can always get results. See, when I hear individuals talking about what's not working, it's not that it doesn't work. It's just that you haven't focused on it long enough for, for you to get personal results. See, understand this. See, I congratulate people for failing. You see, whenever I see individuals fail, I congratulate them. Why? Because you have to fail your way forward. See, the only way you become, the only way you become, and, and write this down, the definition of become is to grow, grow to be. The definition of become 
right? What is our favorite thing? We say, what are you becoming? Become, the second definition is grow to be. Grow, grow to be. The only way you become a success is through failing forward. The only way you become a success is by failing forward. That's the only way you become a success. See, y'all want success, but the only way you get success is by becoming, by who you become. Because you don't get success, you attract success by becoming. Because every time you become, you get wisdom because you're growing. See, every time you fail, you get wisdom. And when you fail, you attract. See, my next point is, my next point. See, the only, this is the thing. The only way that you know how to do a presentation is because you did it and messed up. Now you got wiser. The only time, the only reason why you know how to trade is because you, you didn't blow a trading account and now you wise, wiser. You, you're becoming and now you have having more. But if you ain't doing nothing, you can't have no success. That's the mindset that you have to have. See, a lot of people fail miserably. Or see, uh, uh, see, a lot of people fail miserably. They fail and they never get back up. They fall and they stay on the ground. See, a lot of people fail miserably. And you don't want to fail miserably. A lot of people fail miserably. They fail and they never get back up. They fall and they stay on the ground. And that is not a place where you want to be. See, you have to fail with you have to fail with the vision in front of you every single day. You have to fail with the vision in front of you every single day. See, when you failing with your vision in front of you, you're becoming because you're getting back up. See, when people fail and they don't get back up, it's because their vision wasn't in front of them. See, your eyes is like a lap to your feet. When you see it, your body is healthy. See, what you have to understand is this. See, even though I fail, my eyes will lie to me, but my faith is telling me the truth. What's my faith? What I wrote down on, on paper. That's how this thing works. So you want to live in a real world? You live in a real world. You live in a real world by writing it down. You see, even though I fail, my eyes will lie to me, but my faith is telling me the truth. What I wrote down is telling me the truth. See, your see your success um both see your see your success on both ends, you know, <clears throat> comes comes down to See, your success on both ends, you know, in, in, in a business or even in trading comes down to two things. It comes down to the study of the skill and your faith and gratitude. Your success on both ends, trading or on the business, right? Because that's what we do, right? It comes down to two things. Your study of the skill and your, and your faith and gratitude. Two things. That goes for any industry. See, your ability to become a master trader is going to be the study of the skill and your faith and gratitude. Can you be grateful for a 0 0.01? Make, make, making, making a dollar, catching 10 pips. Oh, but you ain't grateful for that. That's, what, that, 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 that that's, that's why you have those emotions, right? See, your ability to go platinum 1,000, platinum 2,000, platinum 5,000 is going to be your study of the skill, showing the plan, prospecting, and, and your faith and gratitude. That's what it boils down to. That's going to be your ability, the study of the skill, uh, and, and not to mention the application of it too. You can't just study and not apply it. So if this making sense so far, if this makes sense to anybody, drop some, drop some two, two tools in the chat box if this is making sense to anybody so far. That's not even a, the, the topic I want to talk about today, but I, again, I thought it was very necessary. Okay, for sure, for sure. So, all right, cool. So I want to go ahead and um, switch topics for one second. <clears throat> so I want to go ahead and switch topics. So again, so I said the main thing I want to actually talk about today, and um, it's about to, it's about to, it's about to get, it's about to get, it's about to get good. Uh, I want to talk about communication transformation. I'm gonna talk about this for the next 15 minutes. So I want to talk about communication transformation. And anything I talk about, again, I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience. You know. God is never going to, I'm never going to talk about anything that I haven't went through myself. I promise you. Right. So the reason I say that is because I don't see too many individuals teaching this subject. Right. And, you know, 
I don't see too many individuals teaching this subject, and it's very, very necessary, right? It's very, very necessary. So I want to talk about connection. I want to talk about, you know, connection, transformation, I mean, communication, transformation, and just teaching you all how to connect with any and everybody, right? Um, this has been heavy on my heart. So uh, one thing you have to understand is this. See, you know you are connecting with others when you start seeing, when you see, you know when you are connecting with others when you, when, you, when you see the signs, when you see people go the extra mile, uh, when they show positive things, when they demonstrate trust, uh, they, uh, when, they, when they start expressing themselves, when they showing off positive energy and when they grow in synergy, right? That's when you know that you are starting to have a strong connection. And y'all can apply this for any area of your life, right? This is how you know that you're connecting. See, one thing you have to understand is whenever it comes to communication, it's always connection before communication. There's always con it's always connection before value. Don't ever give out value without connecting. That's what people go wrong at. It's always connection before communication. See, when you're connect, see, when you connect with people, you take everything to the next level. So you want to take things to the next level, it start, It happens when you connect first. It has to be a connection first. See, when you connect with people, you take everything to the next level in your life. See, one of the greatest strengths in leadership is knowing how to connect with people. That's one of the greatest strengths in life is knowing how to connect with individuals. So understand this, connecting increases your influence in every situation. Connecting increases your influence in every situation. That's what connection does. It increases your influence in every situation. See, good communication and leadership is all about connection. Good communication and leadership is all about connecting. It's all about connecting. My next point, see, connecting is being able to relate to people. Connecting is being able to re relate to people. And the reason I say that is because, you know, sometimes when you're doing something like this and you're in a group chat with hundreds of people, sometimes you, you're not really communicating because you guys not connecting. Shout out to, shout out to the Seattle event. You, you guys are connecting. You see what I'm saying? So my next point. See, when you're doing this business, prospecting is all about connecting. You see, what I, I treat my social media like it's a huge college. I need to get it. I need to know everybody is watching my story. Everybody. Because if you watch me, you watch me for a reason. I need to connect with you. I need to, I need to know who, what your name is. I need to know about your family. I need to know, I need to know your love language. I need to know everything. Because you following me for a reason. You connected to me for a reason. Genuinely. Genuinely. Right? Connecting is basically vibing with a person. That's what connecting is. See, it's valuable before value. It's valuable before value. It's valuable before they listen. See, a person don't listen when you don't have a connection with them. See, your relationships will be healthier if you was good at relating to others. Your relationships will be healthier if you was good at relating to others. God ain't never going to take me through anything that I haven't experienced myself. But like I told you, the difference between winners and failures, winners can fail forward, keep the vision in front of them, and get back up and do it again. Failures, because they don't got the vision in front of them, they, they, they fall down, don't get back up. See, connecting is crucial for leaders. Everything rises and falls on leadership. See, great leaders are the best connectors. Great leaders are the best connectors. And if you don't look at yourself as a leader, guess what you're still getting right now? Wisdom, whether you're going to apply it or not, whether you're trading or not, you're getting communication skills. And you can apply this in your family, at your job, or whatever you do, or even in this business. I mean, not this business, and what in, 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 in this family, right? My next point, see, learning to write and communicate with others is the most important skills in life. Learning how to write your thoughts out and communicating with others is one of the most is, 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 uh, one of the most important skills in life you need to learn. 
See, I'm not just gonna talk about trading the building. I'm a, I'm a, we need to, I'm gonna teach you guys life principles, right? So connected is crucial when trying to lead a nation, aka an organization. Connected is crucial when trying to lead a nation. See, leadership is all about connecting with people. See, when you learn how to connect with people, you become a better teacher. When you learn how to connect with your people, you become a better teacher. You can guide them in the right direction very easily. See, learn how to connect with your audience to get them to listen. Everyone is different. So you have to learn how to connect with your audience to get them to listen. Everyone is different. People was, people, people, people was made to feel connected. People was made to feel connected. People was made to feel connected. So what are you going to do to get them connected to you? People was made and designed to feel connected. See, to, see, to understand this, to succeed with others, you need to learn how to connect. That's the only way you're going to be able to actually succeed with others. You got to learn how to connect. What, what, what's the common ground? See, people, see, this is the thing. People who has, yeah, people who have great relationships are more effective. They get more done. They weigh happier and they have less conflicts with others. People who have great relationships are more effective. Uh, they get more done. They are way happier. They have less conflicts with others. See, the first step to connecting with people is to understand the value of people. The first step to connecting with people is to understand the value of people. You have to understand the value of people in order, in order to connect with them. See, when you want to grow a vision, you have to grow. See, when you want to grow a vision, you have to grow enough for the right people. You do that by connecting with your people. See, when, when you want to grow a vision, when you want to grow your vision, you grow your vision um, by, by, by growing enough with the right people, right? You have to do that by connecting with them. Because when you grow enough for the right people, guess what? You, you grow the vision because the people is the vision. But if you're not growing, growing them, it's because you're not connecting with them. And if, if they're not growing, guess what? The vision is not growing. See, my next point. See, communication without connection is a no-no. See, connecting with a person one-on-one is, is less about me, more about them. It's less about me and more about them. Y'all with me? Make some noise if you're still with me. Make some noise if y'all still with me. If you're getting value, make some noise. Let me know. It's big value. Uh, big value. Hey, I'm... I'm, I'm again, y'all getting it first. Let's go! Let's go! All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, I got about five to eight more minutes. Let's get it. So, uh, my next point. So, my next point. So, understand this. To connect with a group... To connect with a group, you must do the following. To connect with a group, you must do the following. You have to look for ways to compliment people in a group. Look for ways to add value to people and uh, what they're doing. Don't take credit when the group succeeds. And don't cast blame when it fails. Find ways to help the group celebrate su uh, success. Find ways to help the group celebrate success. Y'all getting some next level information. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all get some next level information, right? So the best way to connect with an audience is to learn from the people who is already good at it already. That's the best way to learn how to connect with an audience. You have to learn from great speakers, right? See, an example. See, my audience is people, see, from, for me personally, see, my personal audience is this. Um, you know, my personal audience is people that come from, you know, nothing, you know, individuals, you know, that didn't go to college, that doesn't want to work a job. They don't really have support from their family, anything like that. Um, you know, that's, yeah, that, because again, I, I come from that, I come from that type of background. So you have to understand, you have to know who your audience is in order for you to connect with them. You see, I necessarily didn't go to college and because I didn't go to college, how I'm going to relate to somebody that went to college and we have no really common, no real common ground. I've been an entrepreneur for almost three years, going on next month. See, when you know your audience, you know how to lead them. Whether they in your business or whether they not in your business, you have to know who you're talking to because when you know who you're talking to, you know how to relate to them because you already been through what they're about to go through. 
See, there's four things you can do to connect with an audience. Y'all ready? There's four things you can do to, con to connect with an audience. See, number one, let your listeners know that you are excited to be with them. Let your listeners know that you are excited to be with them. Number two, communicate that you desire to add value to them. Communicate that you desire to add value to them. Step three, let them know how they and, and, and their organization add value to you. Let them know how they and their organization add value to you. Number four, my time with you all is my highest priority for the day. My time with y'all is my highest prior priority for the day. Y'all getting some nuggets, I ain't gonna lie. This, you know, this 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 is next level information, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay, run that back, I'll, I'll run it back one more time. See, number one, let your listeners know that you are excited to be with them. Let your listeners know that you are excited to be with them. And, then, and again, you can be comfortable talking to your audience because you know yourself. To know yourself is to know thy others. But if you don't know yourself, how are you going to connect? Number two, communicate that you desire to add value to them. Communicate that you desire to add value to them. See, you was going wrong because you're trying to connect with somebody that, that doesn't have any common ground to you. They're not going to listen to you. Number three, let them know that, let, let them know how they and their organization add value to you. Step four, my time with you all is my highest priority for the day. Communication skills. You can't be in a, see, most individuals get in a, you know, people business and never learn about, you know, people. Never learn the skills on how to communicate with people. Whether we doing trading, drop shipping, or anything. My next point, see, I connect with my students in order for them to connect with their audience. My next point, whenever I connect in my captions, don't post for me, post for them. Whenever you connect, whenever you connect in your captions, don't post for yourself thinking about yourself, you post for them because you have to be relatable. Whenever you post, don't post for yourself. You post in mind thinking about them because you always have to be relatable. And again, never give advice without connecting because how you expect somebody to listen if you can't relate? I know this is, I know y'all got light bulbs going off in y'all head. I see, I see y'all. Okay, look, my next point, we almost done. We got about, we got about three more minutes. All right, so... Uh, when you doing a call to action, focus on the interests of others before yourself. When you're doing call of actions, focus on the interests of others before yourself, before you, before yourself. Because I ain't just going to give y'all, we, we just ain't going to cast vision without me giving y'all a plan. Right? So when you're doing call of actions, focus on the interests of others before yourself. Right? If, 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 understand this, if you're first, if, if you first help people get what they want, you're going to always get what you want. If you first understand what they want, you're going to always get what you want. Always. See, connecting with others is all about their needs and not yours. Connecting with others is all about their needs and not yours. See, focus on adding value to everyone. See, focusing on adding value to everyone, number one, you, you must first value others. Like I said, you must first value others. You know, to succeed in life, we must, to succeed in life, to succeed in life, we must learn to work with and through others. One person working alone cannot accomplish much. To succeed in life, we must we must learn to work with we we must learn to work with and through others. One person working alone cannot accomplish a, a, a big vision at all. See, if you cannot work through others, you cannot advance your vision. If you cannot work through others, you cannot advance your vision. It's cool that you're doing it by yourself, but that's not enough for you to make your vision come to pass. 
Oh, this is about to be good. I got to go. So check, check this out. See, knowing you're a product, but not your people will mean this is about to get deep. So knowing your product, but not your people, right? Your students will mean having something to sell and no one to buy. That's deep. See, knowing your product, but not knowing your audience will mean you have something to sell, but nobody to buy. Sheesh, that's deep. <laughs> that's a paradigm shift right there. See, my next point, D see, the value you place on others must be genuine. The value that you place on others must be genuine. See, when a speaker is insecure, he will seek the approval from his audience. See, when a speaker is insecure, he will he or she will, will seek approval from, from his audience or her audience. You never need to seek approval from others on what you believe in. You never need to seek approval from others on what you believe in. Never. See, you're not in the business of selling education. You're in the people business selling education. That was deep too. See, you're not in the business of selling education. You're in the people business selling education. Not, I don't like that word. I don't like that word. Though. I ain't gonna cap selling, but you you get the gist of what I'm talking about. See, a lot of people, a lot of people think like this. They think that they in a they see a lot of people think that they in a see, you're not in a business selling education. You're in the people, it's people first, putting them on the education. Now, now I need to put you on the education and then you know, person second. No, person first and then education. You gotta think with that perspective in mind. It's all about connection first. See, always know and identify what your student wants and not what you want. Because think about it. You want money, but money comes from who? People. How you See, if you don't have any money, it's because you're not, you're not connected to your people. Because money always comes from people. Money don't come from, money comes from trades, but money comes from people. And if you can't connect, that's that. My last thing when I'm done. My last thing. My last. My last thing and I'm done. My last thing and I'm done. I'm gonna say the rest for the, for next week. I'm gonna say the rest for next week. Um. No, I'm gonna say the rest for like you know later. But check this out. So it's three questions people think about when they're when you're talking to them. It's three questions that people are thinking about when you when you're talking to them. Number one, do you care for me? Number one, do you care for me? Number two, can you help me? And number three, can I trust you? Number one, do you care for me? Number two, can you help me? And number three, can I trust you? See, I need y'all to really change y'all mindset. See, see y'all, y'all, y'all been at IM. See y'all, see y'all, see y'all been doing this. I need to change y'all paradigm. See, I need y'all to think. I need y'all to think in mind when y'all, when y'all, when y'all, you know, connecting with individuals. Don't think in mind from the business aspect. Think in mind from the relational aspect, and then the business. See. When you see this is the thing, see when when you can unlock someone's attraction, see when you cannot then finally my bad, Travis. Travis, how you missing all this stuff? The title, Travis, how you how you missing this stuff, bro? <laughs> okay, you good. <laughs> number one, do you care for me? Number two, can you help me? And number three, just, can just I just the title, bro? Just the title. Oh, okay, okay. Three, the three questions people think about uh, when you're talking to them. The three questions people think about when you're talking to them. See, number one, see, good relationships lead to great things, growth, partnerships, and more. Good relationships lead to great things, growth, partnerships, and more. See, when people communicate, they focus too much on the features of their product or service instead of answering the questions, can you help me as a person? See, when people communicate, they focus too much on the features of their product or their services instead of answering the question that the person is thinking in their head. Can you help me as a person? Because because people, and this is the thing, people naturally hit me up because I know what I bring to the table. See, you as a person, if you don't know what you bring to the table, ain't nobody going to listen to you. It don't matter that you're doing drop shipping or Forex or buy. That, that means nothing at all. See, if you want somebody to come into your world, what are you giving them see this thing people are going to join you because you're going to help them grow if you bring nothing to the table and you don't showcase that why should somebody listen to you 
See, there's a thousand other ind individuals that's doing exactly what you're doing. What's going to make you different? What's going to make you stand out? Why, why should I listen to you? What value are you going to bring into my life? Because if you don't showcase that, you just like everybody else on social media. We're just in general, right? You got to think outside of the box. Another thing, trust is more important to love. Trust is more important to love because if I trust you, I'm going to love you. But I, I can't love you if I don't trust you. Trust is way more important than love. AKA connection breeds love. See, business goes where it wants, but people stay where they appreciate it. Business go, business go, go, goes where it, where it wants, but people stay where they appreciate it. That's why you got to get people celebrated. That's why you got to celebrate. How many people are having success that's, that's connected with you? See, business goes where it wants, but people stay where they appreciate it. Value. Are you celebrating them? Are you growing them? See, you want to get to the next level, you do that by growing the individuals around you. See, if you're not giving out no type of value on a day-to-day -day basis, that's the exact reason why business goes where it wants, but people stay where they're, where they're, where they're, where they're valued at. Because if you truly value people, you will intentionally add value to people on a day-to-day -day basis. If you truly value people, if you truly value this thing, if you truly value your vision, you will add value on a day-to-day -day basis to the individuals around you. If you really value what you do, but you keeping your mouth closed, business goes where it wants to, but people stay where they appreciate it, aka value. Oh, they don't know how to trade. Give them value. Teach them what you know. My next point, see, actions speak louder than words. See, actions speak louder than words. See, face-to-face -face communication can be broken down in three parts. Number one, words. Number two, tone of voice. And number three, body language. See, face-to-face -face communication can be broken down in three parts. Number one, words. Number two, tone of voice. Number three, body language. You see, when communicating, 7% of a conversation is words. When communicating, 7% of, of the conversation is words. 7%. 7%. God is never going to take me through anything that I haven't... Ex I'm not going to talk about anything that I haven't experienced myself. Number two, the tone is the way you say it. It's 38%. Tone is the way you say it. That's 38% of a conversation. And what others see is 55%, your body language. Body language is 55% of a conversation. Your tonality is 38% of a conversation. And the words that you say is 7%. So it's not, see, it gives y'all a paradigm shit because you would think that communication is everything, but it's really your tonality and your body language. See, communication is never the words. It's, it's the body language and tone. tone. Com communication is never the words. It's the body language and your tonality. See, I'm teach you about yourself see y'all 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 starting to learn about more about yourself like okay i've been doing it wrong the whole time okay cool see not all see this thing it's not all about words if you if you think that you have a hard time see yeah so it's not all about words on you might go down but my next point when communicating you have to have thoughts emotions and actions to be effective when communicating you have to have thoughts meaning you have to know something emotions and actions to be effective. See, you must be the message you want to deliver to have credibility and connect with communication. See, the message that you're that you talking about, you have to always only talk about things that you experience yourself. See, you must be the message you want to deliver to have credibility attached to it to connect with your audience. See, if you don't have no credibility back behind what you're preaching about, you're not practicing what you're preaching. See, nothing can happen through you until it happens to you. See, no, nothing can happen through you until it happens uh, until it happens to you. See, anytime you have someone something to talk about, it, 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 and, it and it doesn't relate back to and it doesn't relate back to you. It lack authenticity. How you say authentic authenticity? Authenticity, right? Yeah. So, anytime you have something to talk about, and if it doesn't relate back to you. 
it's not authentic. It's not authentic. See, your message always have to be value, value, value attached to it. The message that you put out, it always has to have value attached to it. People got to feel it in their heart. If people don't feel what you're saying in their heart, it's not, you're not connected. Not connected. People have to feel it in their heart in order for you to be connected. So you have to have value always attached to it. See, so, so some of y'all waking up. Some of y'all waking up, for sure. So there's four components to connection. We almost done. I got to get through this. I got to give it to y'all. There's four components to connecting. And communication has to be beyond words. Communication has to be beyond words. And there's four components to connecting. Number one, uh, vi uh, visual, uh, visually. Number two, intellectually. Number three, emotionally. And number four, verbally. See, we remember 85% of what we see, 15% 50, of what we hear. We remember 85% of what we see and 15% of, uh, of what we hear. This call going. Well, okay. So people expect all types of communication to be visual experience. We live in a visual age. All right, so with all that being said, that's pretty much everything. Uh, again, I didn't, I really didn't want the call to be long at all, but if you guys got some value from, you know, what I talked about this evening, go ahead and drop some, you know, five, five, fives in the chat box if y'all got some value from today. If y'all got some sauce, honestly, if y'all got some sauce, drop some five, five, fives in the chat box. Um, again, I got a lot more, but I ain't gonna say too much, but that's that's pretty much um everything so far. This call will be on YouTube. I will post this on YouTube. And if y'all need it, um, if y'all need it, I'm gonna drop this link in the group chat as well too. You guys can go back and study it. But again, I'm never gonna talk about anything I haven't experienced myself. And now that you guys are aware, because this thing, we don't perform to the level of our, uh, 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 we don't perform to the level of our ability. No, we perform to the level of, of our awareness. Awareness. I'll repeat the four, please. The four was uh, the four components of connection is number one, visually, number two, intellectually, and number three, emotionally, and number four, verbally. That's the four. Um, but again, like I said again, Monday, Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's gonna be a trading call going on every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's 3 p.m. PST time. Um, and it's gonna be Forex and it's gonna be uh um binary options as well too so make sure that you and your organization show up every single day make sure that you show up every single day to make money and learn don't just go through your day and glide through the day show up every single day and if you guys and there's going to be an opportunity call going on every day at 8 p.m Eastern standard time um on the link that says a couple of k for the holidays that link is in the group chat one apple call a day for forex and binary options at 8 p.m Eastern standard time uh the link is in the group chat make sure that y'all get that and last but not least, um, I'm going to be doing a drop shipping call every single day as well. So that link will be in the chat box. So with all that being said, I love you all. Have a productive day. And I'm going to see you all at the banks. Let's